This video is for individuals who utilize the Enfold theme for their WordPress website and who specifically want to have a pop-up light box that includes content uh, that they can manually put in there rather than just opening an image, for example, in a light box. So I'm gonna show you the process that we utilize to create this functionality. Let me just jump on over uh, to share my screen. Great. So the first thing that we have here is just an example of what on earth I mean by a pop-up that includes more information. So standard landing page, it includes a call to action to access the free training. Now this pop-up is a form. And I can actually adjust this so anything that I want is within this content block. Let me pull up another example for you. Okay, so here we have Winter Wildlands Alliance. They are an incredible nonprofit. I urge you to check them out if you are um, loving the outdoors in the winter. Uh, they do a fantastic job educating and preserving some of our wonderful land in the United States. So they have um, the exact same thing as on this page, a pop-up that appears when you click a link. So again, clicking a link and here is the pop-up. This one in particular is also for a um, sign-up form. However, you could have more information in here depending on what you um, want to put onto your site. We have other uh, websites where they have their team bios rather than opening up another page or having content slide down. They want the image of the, um, the headshot and their full bio on a pop-up form. So this is a great way to utilize that. So in order to get this to work, we need a few things. And I am going to build this on this page even though um, I guess I don't really need to. I could create a new page, but that's okay. So the first thing that you need to do on your website is if you do not have a child theme, you need to install a, um, a PHP code inserter plugin. Now we use a specific one called My Custom Functions. And this is great if you just didn't plan ahead when you were building your website, decide you didn't need to deal with having a child theme and stuff like that. You can utilize this plugin to add those custom functions to your website. We utilize this as well for uh, some customizations to uh, the events planner, for example. Um, and so here is the code that you need to insert, and I will have this just right down below um, so that you can copy and paste it as well. And it is for the inline pop-up enabler. Basically, um, Enfold comes equipped with this magnificent pop-up uh, but you need to add this code in order for it to actually work. Um, so some things to pay attention to. So inline underscore pop-up. This is really what we are going to have to kind of call when we are building um, the content blocks on the page or in the blog post. Okay. So once you have this inserted, make sure that the, the functionality is turned on and you save changes. If you have a child theme, you can just add this to the child theme function folder um, or, or functions.php um, and you will be good to go. So again, this is only need, needed, so my custom functions is only needed if you do not have that child theme. Again, we weren't thinking ahead when we built our site and we've been too busy to, <laughs> to change it. So make sure if you're having a site built for you, uh, that they do install that child theme for you. It'll make everything easier in the long run. So here we have the actual page that we're gonna be adjusting. And just so that we can take a look here, I have a text box and this text box has a link in it. And so the link has a specific class. So it's A and then class, Here's that in underscore, inline underscore pop-up. And that basically tells the site to pull that function in, right? It's telling, it's syncing it up so a pop-up actually will appear. 
Another thing that you'll see here is I have the href going to another page, excuse me, place on the page. This is an anchor text link right here. Um, and so you need to make sure that you have class inline pop-up and the href goes to another part of the page. So let's see where that other part of the page is. Um, so if we go down here, I have a content block, excuse me, a um, color block. And in this color section, I have the name of that anchor text, so MC form, MailChimp form. And then it has the custom CSS class of MFP-hide. Um, and so this MFP-hide is keeping it hidden until that function, the inline pop-up function, is clicked and activated, and then the pop-up appears. Okay, click Save. And then within here, I have a text box that includes the content that I want to have within the pop-up. Now you can do whatever styling you want within this. Again, for things like the profiles and bios of team members, I've built this where their headshot takes up half the page and content takes up the other page and their social media posts are down below. Um, so you can really customize this however you want. So again, let's go through this step-by-step -step on a fresh page and we will um, build it out so that you don't have to see, you know, the, the additional code that I have in there and we can build it from scratch. So let's get started. So let's just jump on over here to this new page. Demo pop-up. You want to be advanced layout editor. And I am going to, here I'll just put in a colored section inside of it, full text box. And then I want a text box in there. Um, you don't need to add all of those for this part, but I did. <laughs> so here we want to add that, um, that link. So click this link. So I'm going to make this super big. I'm going to make it, uh, sure, we'll do an H2. Um, and so it will just show up as an H2 when I click text. Um, so this shows the HTML. And so what we want to do is add that link code in there. So we want it to say class equals uh, quotation inline underscore pop up and quotation. And then the href goes to anchor text within this document that we have to, or on the web page that we have to make. So that's that hashtag demo pop. So I'm going to save that. And now we got to make that demo pop section. So this is going to be another colored section. And before we go any further, let's go to those development codes. So the section ID here is demo pop. And the CSS class is mfp-hide. Now, if you're following along and you realize that you don't have these development or for developers sections here, that's an easy fix. It's something that Enfold makes very easily accessible to you. Um, and implementing it won't change how your site works. It just allows for this extra functionality. So I'm going to jump over here to the Enfold settings and show you where it is. So you come up, it's the theme options, and then if you go down to the layout builder, the second one here is show element options for developers. So it's the custom CSS classes and IDs. So you can just check that right there. So this is helpful if, for example, you want um, one type of colored section to have uh, one color and it's consistent throughout the site, or one background image and it's consistent throughout the site, you can set a CSS class or an ID, and then um, in the general styling, add that custom CSS, quick CSS there, uh, so that it all flows together. So again, jumping back to this new page, we have demo pop, 
as the section ID, and that's just the, the random name that I came up with. You can name it whatever you want, as long as it helps you understand what's in that content block. And then the class is the MFP-hide. So here I'm gonna put in um, just a, a full width uh, box, I can speak. And then in there, I'm gonna put in that text box. Now, in some of the tutorials um, that uh, the Enfold theme has in their uh, forum, it says to use a code block. I've found much more success utilizing a text box. Um, I'm not sure really why that is, but I found that consistently it works better and it shows up better across devices uh, when I am implementing this. So. And I will just add an image here. Who knows what we have? Oh, one of the images from our recent mompreneur interviews or entrepreneur interviews. Um, we'll just insert that right in here as well. So I will click save. We will publish this post. And fingers crossed it works, right? <laughs> Sometimes uh, you will find that you do need to do a couple little tweaks in here and there. Typically when that happens to me, um, it is because I haven't actually added that custom function. Remember, this is my custom function. So this inline pop-up enabler and I just jump right on doing the pop-up. So yay, it worked. Um, so again, how this works is it is referencing a hidden part of this page. And when you click it, you get to see what that pop-up is. Uh, there is a little X mark up here, um, but it's hidden just because I am signed in. But if you weren't signed in, you would be able to see this, um, the X box, or you can just click on the other side there. So again, um, today we went through how to have a link on your website that when you click it, it pops open a pop-up where you can add whatever content you want. And this is done without installing one of those um, pop-up builders that, you know, it's hard to figure out what the settings are. And this is completely customizable. Uh, it's lightweight so that it doesn't affect the speed of your website. Um, and it works really well if you want any form to be filled out or a bio of your team member or more information to be seen on your website. So again, this was specifically for the Enfold theme and how those content blocks really work together. Um, I'm sure on other themes, you'll be able to implement similar techniques. My name's Caitlin McDonald. I'm over here at the Social Speak Network. And please consider subscribing to our channel uh, if this has been helpful for you as you're trying to figure out that tutorial for inserting a pop-up on your Enfold website. Thanks so much, and I will see you next time.